The George gauge allows the clinician to capture the protrusive bite registration. It will also enable you to have a baseline so you know where your start position is with your sleep devices. The George gauge comes with two sets of sizes. The white fork will indicate the 5 millimeter incisal clearance once placed in the gauge. This is the one that is more commonly recommended for your sleep devices. The 2 millimeter fork is ideal when you are taking your records for the Narval CAD CAM appliance. Otherwise, most of your colleagues will utilize the 2 millimeter incisal clearance on some of those deep bite cases where you need a little bit more flexibility than the white 5 millimeter fork will give you. The first thing you'll notice are the two set screws. On the lower, you can loosen that set screw if you need to, if the patient has uh, extensive crown and bridge where it's a little bit thicker, or malocclusions. That will allow you to adjust so it seats comfortably on the mandibular portion. On the upper one, this is going to have to be loosened because we're going to place the, in this case, the 5 millimeter fork. So the first thing you want to do is loosen that set screw, put the edge of the fork in, and then while it is still not tightened, place in the patient's mouth. On the white fork, you'll see a little indentation or etching that will help you line up your midlines. You'll notice on the gauge itself a plus and a minus that is even with a 0 to 10 scale on both sides.